Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and today we are going to be reorganizing and tidying up my makeup room. I'm not really sure like when the pregnancy nesting sets in, but the last two weeks I have just been decluttering my house like crazy. So this is my makeup room. As you can see, the desk is a mess. I've got piles and piles here that just needs to be sorted out. This little drawer system I have here is kind of like the newer makeup that I've been testing out. So some of it, like I've already got my thoughts on it, I need to put it away into my drawers. I also bought this um, bookshelf back into this room. I was going to sell it, but after having a look in my cupboard here, I think that I could really use the shelf for some organizing. Look at all those products. Ah! This pile here is all empty products. Are you guys still interested in seeing empties videos? Because I've got a lot of good stuff there that I wanna talk about, but do you wanna watch it? That's the thing. This section is already like still pretty tidy. I have seen some new jewelry organizers that came up though that I wanna get, and I can probably get rid of a lot of these earrings like I just don't wear them anymore so I don't need them and then this side over here I thought I could just use a general declutter wipe over anyway like I haven't used a scrunchie in who knows how long why do I have 8,000 of them okay first things first I need some organizers and I have this tub here full of spare Kmart organization <laughs> I absolutely love these turntables. So I might take one of these in. These are the containers that I'm looking for though. The clear drawers, I've got some square ones and some rectangle ones here, they would be perfect. I've also got a bunch of these with the lids. So I might take two in and just see if they come in handy. All right, so I've got my containers. I think with this section, I'm just going to pull it all out and organize it by like hair care, skin care. And while I'm doing it, I'll be watching some Real Housewives edit. My favorite. Why that line makes you want to say thing? Keep the going on. I'm done with her. More than sometimes money she's going on. Talking about not too bad, baby. All right, so this container here is just skincare. So I think I'm going to just split it into two and maybe have like cleansers, toners, and then maybe like moisturizers and oils, just so it's not as overwhelming looking at this huge pile. Okay, so top shelf empty, second shelf I've got cleansers and toners, then we've got moisturizers, oils, eye creams, all that kind of random stuff, and then I need to go get another one of these containers for the hair care. Then down the bottom here, this is kind of like random stuff, we've got deodorant, teeth whitening, sunscreen, and then this one is all like lotions, hand creams. This container here, I've got lip balms and just like some random products. And then this one down here is like wax strips and brow dye. All right, and then this shelf in the cupboard, I am going to keep all the makeup in. So at the moment, this container is like backup makeup. I used to buy so much. And then I've got like new makeup that I need to test out here. Just like more backup. So this needs a little bit of organization. All right, so before I put this backup makeup into the cupboard, I am just going to go through my drawers here and see if I need anything because I'm pretty sure I need another one of these. I used it up the other day. As you can see in this backup container as well, there's a bit of stuff that's discontinued. Some of my favorites, the L'Oreal Infallible. Can't believe they got rid of that, how rude. The L'Oreal Shake and Glow Spray has been discontinued. I've got one left of my favorite Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is my current favorite concealer. So I did pick up another one at the last Priceline sale. It used to be the L'Oreal Infallible. 
I do still really love this, but it is more like full coverage glam concealer where this is really nice for every day, especially lately because I am wearing less makeup. Okay, up here is where it gets messy. Oh, I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I did pick up some of the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder recently and some of her sponges. So I think I might put these into this container here, which is um, makeup that I need to test out. I like to keep it all together and then when I'm coming up with video ideas, I can have a quick look through and see if there's anything I want to try. These Barry M lip glosses can go in there as well. And then I've got these brow products by Revlon that were sent to me, but they are a bit too dark. So I think I might pass them on. This is the OXX Kmart makeup that I tested recently. A lot of it I did like, but I'm definitely getting rid of these highlighter and bronzer drops. They sucked. These glosses were nice, but they were all the same shade, like they were clear. I think I might keep one and get rid of two because I did really like this one that I'm going to keep. Um, love the lipstick, the brow. These I wanted to test out again because I just wasn't sure. So I might just put them to the side, but everything else I will put into my drawers and the rest of my collection. All right, so this is a bunch of mud makeup that I want to film a video with. So I think I might put that in the cupboard and just get it away from this space. So for example, I recently did a testing drugstore makeup video and these are the products that I used. Now I want to put these into these drawers so that I can see them, continue using them and really gather my thoughts. I already know I did not like this foundation. Oh. Will I test it out one more time? I just don't know. <laughs> but the rest of this makeup I really like, so I'm going to put it into here. This needs to be cleaned out first though, so. I absolutely love the new Australis Dewy and Daring range, so these can go into my drawers. This Mecha Max stick I love, that can go into the drawers. The Elf Putty Primer. A lot of these spritzes I've figured out that I like them, so they can go in the drawers as well. Um, I wasn't really a fan of this Max Factor Miracle Pure foundation, so I think I'll get rid of that one. I really like this NYX primer. Same with these Ulta primers. We've got the Starlit, which is a nice illuminating, and then the Galactic Gloss, which leaves like the most dewy finish you'll ever see. Absolutely love this little Mecca Max palette. Look at those shades. It's just stunning, especially this one. This is called... Disco Friends. I haven't really gotten into this Real Technique spray, so I'll leave that in there. And then some lip products here. Really liking this NYX liner. This Revolution Juicy Bomb lip gloss was really nice, but it just doesn't last. I really liked this e.l.f. mascara, but it bloody transfers. I really don't experience that often, so that was really annoying. The rest of the mascaras can go into my drawer. All right, you get the gist, so I'm going to power through this. Alright, the desk is looking much better. I've just got a few products in these drawers. These drawers are definitely going to need a declutter soon. Just to tidy up. Oh my god, there's just shit everywhere. Like, excuse me. Um, over here on this table is where I've got PR that I need to photograph, trial, etc. And now I'm going to tackle this section of the wardrobe and then I'm done. Quick bump update as well. 26 weeks. Get out of this trip. Okay, so I have kept just a few the colors that I really like. And like this green one with the little bow is so pretty. This claw clip can go because it sucks. It doesn't hold anything. This one's also a bit too small for my hair. This pink one's nice, but it's starting to get a bit gross. All right, well, that is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other organization ideas or tips, tricks for me, leave me a comment down below because 
you know I love that. If you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed. You can come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.